Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Now, personally, let me give you a bit of background. I'm a, I am love dogs. I have a dog. It's a, uh, I can't even remember what it is, like Cocker Shih Tzu Spaniel, something like that. It's It's got a, a decent name. It's called Baxter. It's beautiful. I love him. All right, he's great. But, uh, you know, when I was younger, I was never really a dog person. It was only when I got a dog, I understand what dogs actually were. They are, you know, they're lovely little things. They're great. But in the United Kingdom, where I am based... <laughs> The American XL bully has been banned by the Prime Minister. So, look at that. Jesus, look at this dude right here. That dude is not a pet. That is a hungry killing machine. I like a lot of dogs. No, I like loads of dogs. But I don't like that thing. I, I just don't. If you think that's attractive dog, then fair play to you. But that is not something I want roaming around my house. It's going to be banned to protect the public. Now, I'm going to show you a video. Uh, this is quite a disturbing video. It's quite discreet. You can't see gore. You see nothing. But this is the type of dog that they are. When you see what they do to these people, you will understand the type of creatures we're dealing with here. So two very serious incidents that I've just shown you, they, you know, a poor little girl was hurt, an uh, 11 year old girl had some serious injuries, this isn't the first time I've read about a dog like this attacking a little child. My personal opinion is I think a dog uh, should be to blame, but I also think the owners here are just as equal to blame. Who is looking after that dog? Who has trained him? There's that saying there are no bad dogs, there's only bad owners, and I believe that 50%, but I truly do believe there are just some dogs that are slightly more aggressive, just like there are humans that are slightly more aggressive. There's those tiny of animals that are always going to be more aggressive than the others you look at some humans compared to others some are soft as sausages and half are as hard as when logan paul watches his wife with another man i mean some people are just you know different types of level of aggression the prime minister <laughs> said it, it was a horror and obviously tragically there's been a few deaths uh, over the years so obviously everyone's a bit upset about these attacks there's been multiple deaths uh, over the past like few years there's been uh, i think it was around 11 or 12 deaths due to dangerous dogs and half of them were due to this little fucker right here what like i said i, I truly believe all, all dogs can be co you know trained and but there's always going to be some sort of dogs who are a little bit more aggro a little bit more violent a little bit more aggressive with it we've already lost a well, she thankfully didn't die, but there was another one, a separate dog attack, where 15 rolls was put in hospital again. Uh, the police in London, so, you know, they're pretty useless, uh, hunting a owner of a grey pit bull, so that could take four to five years. We're never going to get to the bottom of that case. But, you know, from the evidence I've seen, these these uh, beasts, these XL bullies, are dangerous when not looked after properly, and not trained and not taught what, you know, the right things to do. Uh, obviously, if a dog is crazy, what's the rightful step? I don't believe um, in killing a dog you know i couldn't do it so why should i believe in it that's the way i think and the these dogs uh, trying to be controlled and live in society where they're just not meant to live they're not trained for that these dogs are like three different breeds of pure muscle and strength it's like if arnold had a baby with eddie hall and then that baby had a baby with the mountain from game of thrones and then that was the beast that they popped out it would be disgusting to look at it would crush your head with its pinkies literally pop so obviously in the uk there are four breeds of dogs that are banned and similar to these sort of things and you know they're banned for a reason because they're aggressive uh, the, most of them are for hunting animals and looking after sheep and you know farming whatever else you do with breeds and it will be illegal for anyone to own breed or sell them so what does that mean for people who have them okay so they take your dog and then they put in a basically give it a, some sort of GCSE exam you know an exam at the end of the year where they'll tell it if it's a danger and can be a menace to society talking like we're speaking about 
fucking Riddler or something. But these, look at that, that's the cutest thing you've ever seen. But these are some of the banned dogs in the UK. I mean, just look at these fucking things. That is a drooler, an absolute clobber. You can imagine what that thing pulls out of its victim, shall we say. Look at that thing. Why on earth does anyone need a dog like that? It's a legal fighting dog. What a, what a nut caption that was. I, I, I just think, so these are the four dogs. You know, they all look pretty harmless, don't they? But they're monsters. They're trained to kill, to do, you know, go hunting, other things like that. Now, obviously, these dogs are dangerous uh, and they are going to be banned according to the UK. What do you think? Do you think that's the right thing to do? Now these dogs are going to be banned. Do you think it's a good thing to do? <laughs> Read that. So no one reporting the positives of XLs getting banned. Last week, we had an intruder on our guard and some 11-year-old boy getting his football back. Without my permission, my darling twinkle mauled him to shreds and gobbled him up. She's such a good girl. I mean, <laughs> what the fuck? So he owns a Staffy, so which is obviously a huge dog and he feels comfortable around big dogs. But XL bullies scare the day lights out of him so most of these dogs are crazy you know xl bullies these are are killers these are hunters i mean look at this dude this guy looks like he hits the gym every morning every look at that thing that ain't a dog that is not a pet you have around the home that is something you are using to kill people who get close to you there is no there is no happiness in one of these things i mean look i like i said no dog should be put down if it's a sensible dog and can can be looked after well keep it and keep it well but do not take it off its lead would be my advice. You've got to keep that thing tight onto a lead because these things can be dangerous we've seen it half of the dog attacks this you know year or whenever it was have all been from these fuckers if you get rid of it that's five less deaths it's as simple as that i'm not a big brain expert but i've got a big enough brain to put that together people don't need a dog like that there are so many nice little pooches you can get look we'll have a look together nice dogs oh look at that little cutie so you don't think that's gonna kill and eat your little baby when you're not looking do you oh look at that that thing needs a little cuddle you want your little hug look at that dude see he wouldn't hurt a fly if it landed on his nose he'd probably give it a little sweat little kiss and oh what the fuck is that i'm not a fan of dogs like that big afro is not for me man not for me put it away pugs i think are the worst looking dogs but that one does look quite cute they're bred to not be able to breathe to look cuter it's disgusting if you own one consider yourself a criminal boom, 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 boom. that's a cute little thing cheddar from bloody brooklyn <laughs> See, there's just loads of them. Like, look at that dude. Oh, my God. I think it's a woman. Look at that woman. Oh, my God. You're so cute. You're so cute. See, they, my dog shakes my hand, and it feels like we're having a proper communication. It's amazing. See, the point is, there's so many little dogs. Mine looks a bit like that, but probably double its weight and double it, triple its height. Like, look at that little fluff ball. I would happily, if I saw it in the park, I'm running over, taking it home with myself before it gets too attached to its owner, because I want that bad boy. The, the point of the video is what's your opinion do you think these dogs should be banned i i personally believe the government shouldn't be involved in our lives however i think these are clearly endangering people's lives getting people injured getting people killed if you get rid of them and i'm not saying kill them i think you need to stop breeding them and it's going to take years and years and years because you can't just take them away from people i think that's outrageous i know it, unless it's extremely dangerous you know what do you do once you're taking it away though where does it go you guys let me know what you think i think just get a cute little pooch mate something that nibbles anyone that comes in or at least barks so it tells them that i'm a big dog when really that's what my dog does it barks pretend it's all big and then when it comes to meet the dog it runs off i'm not even kidding it's a softie 